Hello everyone, it's Miss James and it is Thursday and we are going to get started on your learning if you have the comprehension workbook and you have the dog on the front of your workbook and it says year one. So if you have this book, you're working with me and I'm sure by now you're all superstars at finding the right video, so well done. And today we're going to be working on page number 13. So for our lesson today, you want to get ready your booklet on page 13 and you will also need your lined workbook as well. OK, so if you've got both of those things, then we're on to a great start. Now, before we get started on our learning, I've got some wow work today, which I want to share with you. I've chosen four children this week that have really blown my socks off. Now, if I could fit everybody's work onto the page, I would. But then I would be talking for a very, very, very long time. So I've just chosen four children today that have wowed me for different reasons, OK? So the first one is Fern. And Fern, your wow work is on my screen today because not only can I see that you have listened to my instructions, you've tried really, really hard to practice your handwriting, but also, and most importantly, Fern, your challenge made me smile. And it's really important that we try and make sure we're making each other smile every day whilst we are at home to keep our spirits up and to keep us feeling good. And Fern, you did just that because you completed my challenge about a sequence of how we would wash a car. And you drew some fantastic pictures and you also drew a picture of your daddy and his lockdown hair which made me smile because we are all struggling with lockdown hair at the minute because we can't go to the hairdressers and your daddy's hair in your picture made me smile a lot so thank you Fern. The next person on my screen is Teddy and Teddy I have chosen you because not only have you got a lovely big smiley face on your pictures but also I really really liked that you completed my challenge about washing the car and not only that but I could see how hard you worked to listen to the sounds in each word and have a really good go at writing those sentences independently so super job Teddy. Alexa you are on my screen today because I can see how improved your handwriting is I can see you taking your time and keeping your words on the line, which is excellent. So a big thumbs up to you, Alexa. And also I've chosen Joe. And I've chosen Joe because Joe has been working really, 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 really hard on finger spaces. And he's been working hard at school and he's gone home and he's not forgotten. He's not forgotten that he must still remember that tricky finger space. And I can see in his learning that his finger is there and he's writing the word on the other side which is fantastic Joe. so a big superstar round of applause for all of my wow children of the week well done let's have some more tomorrow please so send me your work keep it coming and we'll have some different children who are blowing my socks off i'm sure tomorrow so moving on then now we're going to get started and we're going to get ready for our high frequency words and today I have put our high frequency words in our favourite game, the truck game. So our high frequency words are going to come across the screen on our trucks. Now there are a lot of high frequency words and I'm giving you a bit of a challenge already in today's lesson. So don't worry if you don't know any of them. Don't worry if it's a bit too fast. If you see one and you know it, shout it at the screen and blow me away. Off we go then. So like I say, have a really good go, but don't worry if you don't know them. She. Super. B. Well done. We. Two. With. That. All C you well done for keeping up here one now my will 
he that we all got that one then her are for Luke this was, I hope you got that one, I'm working hard on that one, they, them, down, 24 words in our high frequency words for phase three, so well done, great job, and like I say, don't worry if you found some of them too tricky, and as long as you've had a go and you've tried your best, and remember, only the best is good enough, and that's good enough for Miss James, so a big thumbs up. So now we're going to move on, practice our high frequency words for the day. And we're going to have a look now at a high frequency word activity. And at the top, my question says, can you fill in the missing high frequency word? So today I have got three sentences, and I have got four words. So the first sentence, is missing one word, the second sentence is missing one word, and the third sentence is missing two words. Now, if you are in Miss Charlesworth's literacy set, you will definitely be able to do the first one with us, okay? You should be able to have a really good go at number two as well. But number three is a bit tricky. So if you're in my set for literacy, I want you to have a go at all three. If you are in Miss Evans's set for literacy, you will be able to do all three. And if you are in Miss Charlesworth's set, have a go at number one and number two. Okay, so there's lots of challenges there. Even if you're in Miss Evans's set, you're going to have a go at all three, okay? And what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is have a look at the stars at the bottom of the page. And the stars have got our high frequency words in that are going to be put in the missing spaces in our sentences. OK, we're going to read the four stars together. We're going to do the first sentence together. And then I'm going to let you do number two and number three so that when you send me your work, I know that you are trying really hard and that you are completing your task. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to write our date here one. Can you remember the date? I told you at the beginning of our video. Can anybody remember what date it is? It is Thursday, well done. It is Thursday and it is the 25th of March. Okay, we're going to put it on the screen now at the bottom. And you're going to have a go at writing the date. And you're, you can see Miss James's, it's on the line. It's nice and straight. And my long, tall ladder letters touch the line on top. And my descender letters, the ones that have got tails, go underneath the line. So pause the board if you need to, so you can practice writing the date. And then you're going to come back to the screen and we're going to read the four high frequency words together. So number one, in star number one is... All well done if you shouted that before me. Brilliant. Star number two is oh is well done if you shouted that before me. Star number three, our high frequency word is are well done. And star number four, high frequency word is she. Brilliant. So we've got the words all is are and she. Now, one of these words is going to fit in my first sentence, and this is the sentence we're going to do together. So, reading out loud, the first sentence is the hot, 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 well done. The hot of, of, the hot of jam, jam. Jam, the pot of jam, something 
add bread. The part of jam, something red. Okay, so let's see which word we think is going to fit in that sentence. Now I know lots of you are shouting the answer out and you're saying, Miss James, it's this one, which is brilliant. So if you're shouting it, well done. Let's work it out now together. The pot of jam, all red. Does that make sense? No. Let's try the next one. The pot of jam is red. Does that make sense? We know that strawberry jam is often red. Does it make sense? Could it be correct? I think so. Let's keep that one in our, in our memory and we'll try the other two just to make sure. The pot of jam are red. Well, that doesn't make sense because R means there's normally more than one. Okay, and remember it says the pot, which means one. Okay, let's try the last one. The pot of jam, she red. No, it's got to be is, hasn't it? So well done if you were shouting that. Once you've, once you've figured it out, you're then going to write it in your lined workbook, okay? So you can see here, I have left a line under my date and I have written the sentence completed. The pot of jam is red, okay? And that's what I would like you to do, dear one, for each of the sentences, okay? So, Miss Charles Worst Literacy Set, you're going to have a go at doing number one and number two. My set, you're going to have a go at all three, but definitely number one and two. And Miss Evans' set, you're going to do them all. You could even have a go at writing a high frequency sentence with one of those words of your own, okay? So, brilliant job. That's your starter activity for the day, just to get our brains working for our work group activity. So pause the board if you need to, and then move on when you're ready. So now, the next slide, we're going to look at our comprehension activity on page 13 of our workbook. And my word of the day in my big yellow star is odd. Odd. What does that mean? Odd. It's a little bit of a tricky word. Have a think about where you might have heard the word odd before. So we sometimes hear it in maths, don't we? An odd number. And we know that an odd number can't be shared equally. So that means there's always going to be one left out, isn't there? There's always going to be one on their own or one that's different. Okay. Where else might we hear the word odd? If we have odd socks on, what does that mean if we have odd socks on? Tell your adult at home. You're right, it means they are different, it means they are not the same. And that is the meaning of odd. So the word odd means when something is different or something is not the same as something else. So if we are looking for the odd one out, we're going to be looking for something that is different than the other thing. And today in our workbook, we have got some odd one out activities. And what I thought we would do first is we would have a go at a few together to see if we can find and spot the odd ones out. So here on the first line, I have got, so we're looking at this one first at the top. I have got three pictures and I would like you to tell your adults at home which one is the odd one out and most importantly, why? So, the something is the odd one out because, and remember that special word because is going to tell us why, isn't it? So, it's going to give us a reason. So, everybody now, we're going to do this verbally, so it's a nice discussion to have with your adult or whoever's looking after you at home, and you're going to tell them what can you see, which one is the odd one out and why. So pause the video if you if you need to so you can have a really good chat and think about the reasons why it is odd. So whichever one you've chosen and then come back to me. Okay, so I hope you've said that the onion is the odd one out. I'm going to put a circle down there. 
the onion is the odd one out. And my reason is because it is not a fruit. Because I can see that this is a picture of an apple and this is a picture of an orange. And I know that apples and oranges are fruits. And I know that an onion is not a fruit. Therefore, my reason is an onion is the odd one out because it is not a fruit. Were your discussions the same as mine? Let me know. OK, let's look at number two. Now, number two, we've got a picture of a cow. We've got a picture of a dog and we've got a picture of a duck. Interesting, dear one. So having a good look and using our vocabulary, so talking about our answers, which one is the odd one out and why? So remember, use that special word because, OK? Really, really important to make sure that we're using these new vocabulary words when we are discussing. So once you've done that, come back to me and then we'll see if it's the correct one. So my answer is that the duck is the odd one out. And I've chosen the duck because it's only got two legs. So the duck is the odd one out because it's only got two legs. But the cow and the dog have four legs. Did you get the same answer as me? I bet there are some parents having a real chuckle at home with your answers because whenever we do activities where we do lots of discussion, your answers and your conversation always make me smile. So, and it always ends up talking about something really, really interesting. So let me know the conversations you have at home with your parents about this activity. Brilliant job. Now, sometimes when we're looking at odd one out, it's not always pictures year one. Sometimes it can be words. And in your workbook today, that's what you have got. So you have got some pictures, but you have also got some words too. And your activity is asking you to draw a circle around the two matching sentences. So two sentences are correct. One sentence is odd, which means it's not correct. It's different. It does not work. OK, so we're going to read the sentences together and we're going to see which one is correct and which one isn't. And like I said yesterday, if you struggle reading any of the words or sounds because we haven't done some of the sounds yet, ask your adult to help you because it's all about what we can understand and it's all about looking at the pictures, looking at the text to help us, OK? And you are doing a really super job here, one, so well done. So let's have a look then. We've got some names of some children and we're going to have a go at reading some of these words, OK? So when an E is the capital, it makes an E. E, A, E, Ethan. Okay. Now, Ethan, if you're at home and you're watching, you will know you will know that because it's your name. Ethan is w airing, w airing, wearing short sh shorts. Let's go back and read it again. Ethan is wearing shorts. Now, let's look at the picture to see if we can see something that will tell us that this is true statement, a true sentence, or it's not. So is this the odd one out? Is this the sentence that's not, is not right? Is it different? Let's look at the picture. Well, no, because I think that this is a boy, so his name could be Ethan, and I can see here that he is wearing shorts. So I think that that one is going to be right. So I'm not going to put a circle around it yet because I want to make sure that I read the other two first because remember, I'm looking for two sentences, not one. So the next one, s ask -ia. Saskia, Saskia has a bag bag. Saskia has a bag. Now, looking at my pictures and being the detective that we are, 
because we're practicing being detectives, aren't we? I can't see a girl with a bag. So I think that might be my incorrect. That might be my odd one out because it might not be right. But to make sure, we're going to read the last one together, okay? Leah is playing. 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 Leah is playing golf. 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 Leah is playing golf. Now, I know that we've paid real good attention to those pictures and I can see a girl and she's playing golf and I think her name must be Leah. So, going back then, we've got to circle the two that are correct. So the two that are both match the picture. Okay, so Leah is playing golf and Ethan is wearing shorts, which means that Saskia has a bag, is the odd one out, okay? So we've done the first one together. So you've both got two more activities to do in your workbook today, okay? So have a really good go and let me know how you get on. Now, once you've done that, as always, it's challenge time. And the challenge of the day is, can you draw me an odd one out? So I want you to think about some things that are the same and something that is different. And then if you draw me an odd one out and send it to me via email, I can figure out which one is the odd one out and I will let you know and then you can tell me if I've completed your challenge. Now in the last lockdown, we did quite a few challenges like this where you had to do something for me and then I had to solve your problem and it was great because I could see lots and lots of brains really working. So, a big thumbs up for today's learning. I've got lots to do, lots of reading and lots of writing, and you're doing a really good job. If you're going to complete my challenge, don't forget, see if you can add a sentence or a label, okay? So that might help me then to be able to solve your problem, okay? So another brilliant day. We're nearly at Friday, it's Friday tomorrow. And before we know it, we'll be enjoying our special Easter day at school again. So I will see you tomorrow. Work hard and don't forget to send me your work in, okay? And keep blowing me away. Well done.